Hey guys, so I've been having a ton of fun playing Elden Ring, and I really wanted to make some statues of Elden Ring characters. So, I have some of these guys. They're Funko Pops, and I really like the style of them. They're cool. So I decided to make some Elden Ring Funko Pops. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to start out by, of course, making the base that I'm going to add detail to. So, starting with the classic big old square rounded head. And then I'm gonna add on the body, make it look all neat. And now let's move on to some of the detail. Start making him look like the character. So the first one I'm making is the guy you saw in the intro, Margaret the Fell Omen. He killed me a lot of times, but let's not talk about that. Uh, he's gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna make the staff and then go into sculpting, add some detail, make it look like wood, and then we'll move on to his clothing. So he's wearing some kind of a tattered robe thing, so I'm just gonna go in and make the base model again and later we're gonna add more detail. So now I'm just going to subdivide it and go into sculpting, give it a bit of texture. Now that that's done, I'm just going to move on to the hood and kind of repeat the same process. Now I'm adding some of the strings he has on his robe. And now we'll move on to making his tail. And now after getting the base mesh, I'm again going to go into sculpt and add more detail. And now I'm going to move on to sculpting the body and add some hair and fingers and toes and stuff. So now I'm finally going to start sculpting the face. And right now, I'm just trying to get the face shape right by getting those cheeks out and then add the chin and nose and eyes. And now I'm going to start putting some texture into his face with the bumps in his nose and some creases under his eyes. So he also has kind of like these white crystal things growing above his eye, so I'm just going to add those in. And now let's give them some eyes in those sockets. And now it's time to add all those horns he has over his head. So again, I'm just going to make the basic um, kind of blocky version and then go and smooth it later. Mm -hmm. 
Now that those are done, I'm going to make like a smooth block inside of the head and then sculpt the hair out of it. And now that that's done, I'm just quickly going to go back and add a bit of the hood I forgot earlier. Alright, so now that he's done, let's move on to our next figure. Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander. So this one is going to be a very weird NPC. He's just a giant pot that you have to help out. <laughs> so he's going to be really fun to make. Let's get into it. I'm going to start out by just making the pot the right shape, and then I'm going to go in and add detail. So now I'm just going to go in and make all the patterns and stuff on him. And if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. It really helps me out. Thanks. Alright, so now that the patterns are all on, I'm going to add some cracks and make it look a bit worn. And now I'm going to move on to making the arms and legs. Now I'm going to add a bit of detail and make it smooth. onto the legs. Alright, so here both of them are finished up and let's get them printing. So I'm going to print this head and body separately, but here they are and this is how they're going to print. So let's see that. Here's Alexander, and so he's gonna print. So let's see that as well. All right, stuff's done printing. So now let's go paint them. All right, so here you can see they are. I think Margaret turned out really well, and so did Alexander. So yeah, now let's paint them. And I'm gonna paint Margit first. So first I'm just painting his skin and then his robes. Now I'm painting the staff. And now I'm gonna paint the tail. Now let's paint those strings and the horns on the tail. So now we're going to move on to painting the head, and first we're going to do the skin, and then the hair. Now I'm going to add some more detail to his face, like those white bumps above his eye, and his eye. the horns to finish them up. And finally, let's glue him together and get to the grand reveal. Wow, he turned out pretty awesome. So now, let's move on to painting Alexander. So first I'm going to paint the whole thing with a light brown. And now I'm going to paint his arms and legs a darker brown. Now 
now it's time to do a darker wash to make it look worn. So for this, you just put watery paint over the thing, and then you kind of wipe it off with a paper towel, and then it should stick in the cracks and make it look nice. All that's left is to make that rocky texture on the arms and legs. And now for the grand review. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. These were really fun to make. And if you enjoyed this video, you might just enjoy this one. So go check that out. Thanks.